What's going on guys? Sorry that we've been MIA like your ex-girlfriend. I'll explain in a second, but first off, I just want to remind you it's Cyber Monday, so go onto our website, qualitymobilevideo.com, and check out all of our deals. All you have to do is click onto the Cyber Monday banner on the homepage, and it'll show you everything we have on sale. Today is the day to get your car audio and video gear, so definitely do it. It's already the afternoon, come on. But anyways, we've been crazy busy the last week and a half. Me and Lorenzo have been doing an installation video on a Ferrari 430. It was a complete system install. We added two JBL subwoofers, an Arc Audio amplifier, full Cal speaker component set, and the Pioneer 80 PRS. Before we started the process, we assumed it would be a pretty easy install. It's a 10 year old car and we were told that there was work already done to it, so we figured we'd just be piggy backing on top of the previous installed speaker wire and stuff like that. However, as soon as we got in and started taking out the panels, we realized that whoever did the install before us did a f***ing hack job. It was a piece of shit in there. Now that we've gotten the door panel off, as you can see, somebody's already been in here and has done what appears to be a pretty bad job. So we're gonna try to clean this up. First, we have to figure out exactly what they did. It appears there's obviously some new speaker wire in here. Um, so we'll need to go ahead and try to figure out how to fix this and what damage has been done. And we'll probably use the opportunity to dynamite the door as this doesn't look very good. We couldn't understand why it sounded so bad. Now, after seeing some of the damage, it's likely one of the woofers was probably running out of phase, maybe not. Obviously the ba vapor barrier wasn't even attached or they used duct tape of all materials. They could have just used double stick tape and outline the vapor barrier to reattach it. But we'll try to figure out exactly what they did and certainly fix it. So the installation video turned into a repair and then install. It took us like five days to finish the install. So it's gonna be a crazy good video. We're gonna break up into a bunch of different parts, make it an episodic series. And I think you guys are gonna really like it. The system came out great. So I gotta pour through over 400 gigabytes of footage and then start making videos on that. So stay tuned, we'll be getting those up definitely in December. We also recently broke 40,000 subscribers in case anyone didn't know. So thanks a lot for the support, guys. All right, Boston Jim, it's your turn. What's going on QMV fans? How was everybody's Thanksgiving? If you spent it at a halfway house like me, then it was not that fun. Let's start off with a technical question, all right? For installations on a four channel amplifier. Evan Radke, wait, what if you have two subs and you want to connect all four speakers? Evan, you can't do two subs and four speakers. You can do two subs by themselves, you can do four speakers by themselves, or you can do one sub and four speakers, all right? Truth Seeker. I will probably won't get a reply back, but I had a question. Come on, Truth Seeker. Have a little more confidence than that. I responded to you. James Holbrook on the VIN. It would be cooler with Android. Hey, you got that Android? It'd be a lot cooler if you did. 420T. What would be a good complete audio setup for a 1999 Jeep Wrangler? First of all, get a newer car. Second of all, I'm more than happy to recommend systems to you guys, but I need an idea of your budget. Am I psychic? Can you afford $10? Can you afford $200? Or can you afford $10,000? Come on. JC, you are a lifesaver, dude. You just saved me $450. You're welcome, guy. JSNJCNT, I like the detailed information. This guy is very educated. Well, I mean, what can I say? You know, Harvard, Cambridge, a little bit of Yale, you know, the whole Ivy League thing. Kai fam, why did you talk, talk, talk very much? Because this is a you, you, YouTube video. What do you want me to do? Just f***ing show photos and text? Pioneer lover, mega bass? It pronounced mega bass, not bass. Pioneer lover, have you ever heard of a homonym? Yeah, look it up in case you don't remember third grade English class. They're words that sound the same. You know, like blue, 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 like your mother blue. It's bass and bass, or bass if you're fucking fishing. We a comment for Lorenzo from Alibakir Kilikaya. Awesome video, and the fact your t-shirt's Nike symbol's ending is teared off, and you don't give a fuck about that, it's more than awesome. Real man, real installation, thank you. He's single ladies, an enemy, Newsflash, your music is gay and your system sounds like shit. Kill yourself. Sure sounds like an enemy had a lot to be grateful for this Thanksgiving living alone in his mother's fucking basement. For one of our install videos, Biddy Balboa wrote, you don't need to take all that shit off. You mean the panels and the floor? Yeah, you don't have to. I mean, you can just duct tape your wires to the floor, over the seats, you know, maybe wrapping around your kid's child seat extra protection. You want it to look factory, you want it to be professional, you take all this shit out and you put the wires underneath the panels, all right? It's called professional versus amateur. Which category do you think you are? Jacob Muldoon. This guy looks like he smoked 367 bongs before doing this video. Like I smoked the bong or I took 367 bong hits. 
I mean, one of those is probably true. Express yourself. The host earns a reward. That's how you give a f***ing review. Oh, thank you, sir. Jay Gomes on one of our install videos. Great job, man. Help me a lot. Just made my mind. You're gonna pay someone to install my system? F*** all that work. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Hope you had a great holiday. Let's kick this Monday's ass. I'm gonna go get a free refill at Dunkin's because I'm the f***ing mayor of Dunkin' Donuts. That's it guys, stay tuned for videos, I'll get some stuff going this week for you. Definitely going to start pouring over the footage and working on the Ferrari install so we can get those videos up as soon as possible. As always, subscribe to the channel if you're new and thanks for watching.